I'm kind of classically and jazz influenced, so that definitely comes out in my shred a bit. I'm not one of those just lick players who, you know, recycles the same tired licks that a million guitarists have done before me. Try and keep things fresh and interesting and add some new tonalities that really kind of peak the ear. Are you going to be Jeff? <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I think the shred-off's gonna be pretty cool. I, I think neither of us are gonna play like chumps at all. I mean, we both, <laughs> like, it's not gonna be like one guy tearing it up and one guy completely looking like an ass, so. You know, he definitely seems to know his stuff, and I hope that I do, so. It should be fun. The shred-off. We're heading there now. I, I don't actually know who whose idea it was to shred off. I think it was Joel's. Actually, I'm pretty sure it was Joel's idea. Because I was, I was talking about Jeff. I knew Jeff from way back. <clears throat> and uh, I introduced him to Joel as, hey, this is Jeff, my fucking shredder friend. Like, this dude can fucking shred. And so immediately, like, <laughs> right off the bat, Joel's like, well, I can fucking out shred him. Joel never met him. Joel never hurt, like, hurt his shit. But Joel's like, I can kick his ass. That's typical Joel, really, so. I guess the shred off was born like right there, immediately. Shred off. They just had to fucking throw it out. See who's the faster fucking guitarist. For shredding, I, I always think there's like two kinds of shredding. There's like a, there's like John Petrucci, like really precise, really, you know, and I, I definitely spent like two years in high school being like obsessed with Dream Theater, I wanted to be like so precise and so clean and so like a metronome. And then there's the Yangbang side where you're just peeling out, just going absolutely crazy and like barely hanging on to the tempo and just improvising. And I guess I lean more toward that side just because I was in a thrash band for like six years. There's not room for a lot of like composed, nice sounding stuff. It's like you want something really rocking with lots of attitude and just go crazy. And that was what I always got into, like the more like outside, just improvisational, really going nuts rocking. Every instrument you have to have that just virtuoso player who kind of sets things apart and shows the average player what is possible with your instrument it gives those people the inspiration. Someone has to do the job and you know, I, I have the problem of being so fucking fast that I, I light my guitars on fire. The fire marshals come out and ticketed me several times. Now, I keep this handy. <laughs> bass and drum and they just fucking go at it one after the other right next to each other both plugged in both fucking shredding winner winner gets to leave with his soul <laughs> 